Actor and producer Alec Baldwin now charged with involuntary manslaughter just as the district attorney in Santa Fe released new details yesterday in their investigation of the rust shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. NBC's Miguel Elmaguer has more. I do have some very unfortunate news to tell you. Um, she didn't make it. Saying he acted with willful disregard and negligence, tonight the Santa Fe County District Attorney has officially charged Alec Baldwin with involuntary manslaughter, arguing the actor-producer directly caused the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. In a new statement of probable cause, the DA says Baldwin was not present for required firearms training prior to the commencement of filming, then was distracted and talking on his cell phone to his family during the training, cutting the hour-long session in half. The explosive allegation saying evidence shows Baldwin with his finger on the trigger multiple times before firing the shot that killed Hutchins. He's experienced, he understands what the proper protocol is for safety, and he was just disregarding that. While Baldwin's attorney has called the charge a miscarriage of justice, the DA says he handled the weapon in a negligent manner and aimed the revolver directly at the crew. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. After finding live rounds on the armorer's cart and on Baldwin's holster, the DA believes it was Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, who was in charge of guns on the set, who loaded the weapon, and assistant director Dave Halls, who handed it to Baldwin. For a lesser charge, Halls took a plea deal. The attorneys representing Gutierrez-Reed, who's also charged with involuntary manslaughter, say, we will fight these charges. Do you think they're both equally culpable here? I, I do. If convicted, the actor and armorer could face six and a half years behind bars for the real-life tragedy on a low-budget movie set. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News.